Hi, I hope everyone's well. I'm Paul. Uh, Mindy's asked me to do a short video on drawing and painting. Uh, and I'm going to do, draw on different and a few different uh, surfaces that you can find around the home or in the bin or just anywhere around the house, really. I uh, love using different surfaces. Each has its own different properties. I'm just going to do some short demonstrations and it's something you can play with uh, yourself or just, you know, what you can work up. You can work something up quite detailed and do something quite loose. It's really just a bit of fun that you can play with. Um, okay, so the first object I've got is a coffee cup. It's a plain coffee cup. I do collect these, uh, so I've sort of drawn them quite a lot. But uh, I'm just going to do, and uh, I'll show you some of the objects I've got, uh, the paints I've got as well. So these are some pens I've got, and it's just kicking around. So there's these markers, which are really good. And also I use a lot of these Copics, which are great. Because the um, the nibs can be taken out and replaced whenever they need to be. Also, as well, you get replaceable ink, so you can pop the top off and just put more ink inside them, which is really great. And I've got some watercolors just here, and some color, really cheap color pencils, some really cheap sort of highlighters as well, which are really handy, and just some sort of pencils and. Other things, just whatever you can really find around the house, really. So for the coffee cup, um, this, is, this is a clear one, so it's quite handy. But if you've got one for design on it, you can just get emulsion paint and just paint over it, let it dry, and then sort of rework into it. But for this, I'm just going to start off by getting a little bit of watercolour. And just maybe just doing a few sort of organic type shapes, just across, like so, like that, and just play about with some of the materials, so I'm just going to let that dry and then come back. It's also really fun getting different types of like papers, because each got its own sort of quality, like this got a slightly waxy surface, other paints are like, other sort of papers sort of re really sort of uh, soak the paint up, and each got its own sort of quality. But um, yeah, they're they're good fun. They're good fun to try to use something different, and it's something to free up. You can do as well. So I'm just going to carry on and just sort of use this again. It doesn't have to be expensive materials. Just anything you've got sort of lying lying around the house. Hiya, now, now I've sort of gone over everything with the sort of light base, just sort of randomly, just having fun with the paint and using the water for all its um, translucentness. I'm going to get like a black pen to go over and sort of drop into it. So what I'm using for that is um, one of these, which are really nice. And it's like a brush, sort of brush tip pen. I mean, again, you could use anything you want, any pens or like even like mark, like uh, indelible markers. Like, you know, like these, so the Sharpies are great as well. But I'm going to go in with one of these and just sort of doodle around it, sort of make some shapes. For reference, you know, you could use your mobile phone, sort of have a look, go through, like, scroll through images you've sort of collected, you've liked on your phone, draw what's around you, or draw, like, a still life, or just sort of go free for all imagination, or just use anything, you know, that pops inside your heads.
Now, once you've done the line, or however your first layer is, so you can add another layer to it, so maybe refine it or break it apart. So what I'm thinking of using is maybe some marker pens, because I love fluorescent colours. Um, so I'm going to try a bit of that, and then I might try a bit of colour colour pencil on top of it, just to give it a bit of extra richness. And you can sort of just keep on layering up until you... Um, until you get to a stage you kind of like it. This is just really rough, but it's quite a fun sort of project. Now I've sort of gone over a few different mediums, like with the watercolour, the colour pencil and the pen, and you can see anything sort of goes. It's just a way of sort of freeing up and sort of having a sort of uh, sort of freestyle doodle. Um, so what I might do is, you know, when do you, when is it finished? Well, it's hard to say, but like what I might do is just do a bit more watercolour on top of it, sort of maybe push things, a few things back and a few things forward. So I'm just going to add some watercolour and then... What I might do is get like a fine liner and sort of do a little bit more work into it so it gets more, a little bit more detailed. Again, it's something you could do quite loose or you could really work up to so it's really, really tight. Okay, I've gone back over a bit in certain bits with watercolour. Um, I'm not quite sure what's happening here. Sorry about that. Um, my cat sort of jumped into the way of the uh, video, but she's just chilling on the side now. So I'm going to go in with a sort of pen again, sort of like um, just rework back in the detail to sharpen it back up again and, and rework bits, maybe make it a bit more tighter. So I'm just going to carry on doing that.
Hi everyone, and basically that's me sort of finish the coffee cups. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's uh, here you go. This is the full thing. Pretty rough, but you know you can make it as much detailed as you want, or or you know as detailed as you can, or yeah, you can just spend as much time as you want on it. So there's another one, another artist has done. It's just a bit again, a bit of fun. So you've got a bit of collage you can put on here, another bit of drawing. They can draw on top of the collage again, and then a bit of scribble there. And someone's um, the Nikki's written a sharpie drawing on it. And uh, yeah, that's another example of what you can do. Again, you know, if you don't have any coffee, if you've got any like old coffee cups, you can just like paint some like emulsion paint on them or, you know, just spray paint them white. But you could, you know, you can use any object you want. So, you know, you could also get like um, things like, you know, an old toilet loo, loo roll holder that like you could use to draw on that. So it doesn't have to be a coffee cup. But you can also get like old receipts as well, which are great. Anything like that can be really good fun to use. Or old, old Tupperware, plastic Tupperware, or even like, you know, paper Tupperware. Again, it's quite a nice surface. You could play with that as well. So for instance, like, you know, you can get, you just sort of draw on top of it. Also as well, you get, you know, which could be quite fun if you've got any old paper bags. So you've got any old paper bags, so I can't quite get in the whole view. But you could start, you could draw on the inside and you can draw inside the crevices, like so, or you can do the, and you can draw the, in, like so you can draw the inside, cut it up, or, or do whatever you. Okay. Hey everyone, I'm just going to do a quick demo as well. So I've got the loo roller, the uh, toilet roll holder here. So I'm just going to do a quick sort of, you know, maybe you can sort of do some faces on these, like sort of cartoon faces. So I'm just, you know, I've got a pencil, so I'm going to pe quickly pencil a really rough, um, a rough sort of portrait on it. And then I'll sort of like do, um, go back and pen in it. So there's another one you can do. Again, you do all the techniques you've done from the coffee cup, just mix materials. But I'm just going to keep this like sort of pen drawing, just to give you another idea. Hi everyone, this is the uh, finished toilet roll. So, you know, you can sort of see there. So it's quite a fun sort of thing to do. So I just use the pen to mark uh, to mark out very quickly and then sort of use a pencil, just sort of like get some shade in it. But you could do a, see a set of like portraits on loo roll holders. Again, it, just try anything you've got to hand and don't be too precious. So again, this is the, this is the other coffee cup as well. So you can just have a quick spin through, spin through there. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone and uh, stay safe and uh, keep creative. All right, thank you. Bye.